Hey everybody, welcome back. First of all, I wanted to thank all the new subscribers I have gained over this past month. I just got a notice from YouTube that I've gained a little over 400, so I appreciate each and every one of you. It just so happens I'm driving home from uh, Avoca, New York. I spent some time with uh, Mike the Destrungal Mechanic and Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Dutch Cooking Channel. Uh, Jim the car guy came up and spent the uh, evening with us and since we're on property close to Eric's shop he did come out for all three nights actually he spent some time around the campfire and we had a lot of fun. One of the things I wanted to uh, show Eric was <clears throat> this cruise control line has got a, kind of a strange problem. So I'll swing you down to the uh, cruise control and uh, show you what's going on. This is a condition we could not uh, verify with Eric on board. It, it worked perfectly, of course. <laughs> it always happens that way. But I got it to act up the way it's been doing for almost the full length of owned this truck, which is close to 10 years now. My cruise control, you might be able to tell, is in the on position. And if I push the button to engage it, the cruise control light does not come on, nor does the cruise control work. This condition only persists if I forget to shut the switch off and shut the engine off. And that's what happened on my last stop. You know, it just dawned on me when I tried to recreate the problem with Eric in the car, I was not in tow mode because I didn't have the trailer in the back. I was sitting here thinking about some variables and that came to mind. So I got a rest stop coming up ahead. We'll stop recreate this. All right, we're back to speed. Tow motor's off. I left the uh, cruise control on. I'll set it. And sure enough, it works. Okay. So that's what happened when Eric comes in the car. So uh, now we got uh, another variable, and that's the tow mode. Yeah, it's got to be something logic related. And now we have to incorporate the tow mode circuitry to see if that's supposed to be that way or if that's causing our issue. So now that we've decided it's a logic issue, uh, which means it's probably a software issue, and uh, ask if you're having the same conditions. I know uh, Mike, the, the Scruggle Mechanic, has an O2 Duramax, and he said that his works uh, either way, doesn't matter how, the, how it's set up, so it might just be a software issue on this truck, in which case I'm not going to worry about it. We'll diagnose it and fix it all in the seat of the truck. <laughs> uh, no tools required in this case. So, all right, guys, thanks. See you on the next one. Almost home.